Hey everyone, welcome back to another recipe video. Today we are making a watermelon body yogurt and I personally am, I'm obsessed with body yogurts. They're one of my favorite products to make and I think it's like, was one of the products I was the most excited about making for the very first time because I didn't even know what they were until somebody mentioned them to me and then I bought one and I'm like, oh my gosh, I took a look at the ingredient list. I'm like, I can replicate this and I was able to and I love the results. So I hope you guys do as well. So let's go ahead and start with phase A, which obviously is glycerin. I'm always starting out with this. It's a humectant, it helps hydrate the skin and I am using 24 grams of it because we are making a 300 gram batch today. Then I'm grabbing some xanthan gum soft. This will help stabilize the emulsion and it does add a little bit of viscosity, but not very much because we're only using it at 0.2% and I added in 0.6 grams of it. And I mixed the glycerin and xanthan gum together and this is called creating a slurry. Also, I am so sorry my camera has not been in focus failure. <laughs> Anyways, grab some distilled water or a hydrosol, whatever you prefer. I'm using 200.4 grams of distilled water and I'm pouring the xanthan gum and glycerin slurry into the distilled water. And then I am mixing. You could also use aloe vera liquid too, if you would like. And then I'm going to grab some propendial. This is similar to glycerin. It is also humectant, but it's like less sticky and heavy compared to glycerin. And I use 24 grams of the propendial and I mix everything together. And that is everything for phase A and B. So what I'm going to quickly do is take my scale and tear it and place the phase A and B beaker on top of it and write down how much everything weighs because we're gonna heat this up and some of the water will evaporate. But first, let's work on phase C, which is the oil phase. I'm gonna add in Lotion Pro 165. This is extremely important because it's an emulsifier that blends oil and water together but it doesn't thicken the emulsion, which is key here because the body yogurt is very, uh, it's a very lightweight lotion. It's more of a gel and just has a little bit of like creaminess to it. So this is a key ingredient and I don't have any substitutes for this. So I do actually have a whole other method on how to make a body yogurt. So let me know if you wanna see that formula as well. But anyways, add the 12 grams of Lotion Pro into your beaker. Then you wanna grab some shea butter. This is a lovely moisturizer, helps soothe the skin, full of antioxidants, and I added in six grams of it. Then you wanna grab some kind of oil. I chose watermelon seed oil since it suits the theme of this body yogurt, but you can use a different carrier oil if you would like. And I added in 15 grams of it. Then I'm adding in some dimethicone. You don't need this, but it will make the body yogurt far more luxurious, it adds so much smoothness, slip and glide to the lotion, it'll really transform it. So I added in six grams, and then this is another key ingredient. This is sodium carbomer. This is what's going to be creating that texture of the body yogurt. This is what makes it so unique. This is what adds that little jelliness to it. And this is pre-neutralized carbomer. So it's so much easier to work with compared to other carbomers. With most carbomers, you have to like adjust the pH to get it to activate, but this will just activate on its own. That's why it's easier and I added in 1.5 grams of the sodium carbomer. And this goes into the oil phase. So now you have both your water phase, which is phase A and B, and then you have your oil phase, which is phase C. You want to cover up both of those beakers, place them in a pan with about an inch of water and place over your stove top on about medium heat. And you want everything in the phase C to melt. Now, you just wanna make sure both phases are roughly around the same temperature. They don't need to be exact. You just wanna make sure everything is around the same temperature so you can mix the two together. Then once everything is heated, make sure you weigh your phase A slash B again and add in any water that evaporated. Now we can take our phase C and pour the phase A slash B into the phase C and then mix with an immersion blender. I hope you guys followed along. Hope that wasn't too confusing. And then after I just blend it once, I'm gonna add in a little bit of mica powder Mica powder works great, it's super easy to use, and I purchased mine from madmica.com. I'll link down below to their website. And then just instantly you'll notice it'll start to thicken up a little bit, but it's not at its full viscosity yet. But once it returns to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, you can add in phase D, which first I'm adding in 1.5 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus. This is our preservative. Then I'm gonna grab in some watermelon extract because this goes perfect with the watermelon theme and I added in six grams of the watermelon extract. 
You can use whatever extract you would like. It doesn't need to be watermelon. Then I'm gonna grab some watermelon flavor oil, which surprisingly, flavor oils are basically the same thing as fragrance oil, except they're lip safe. So you can use flavor oils as a fragrance oil. So I added in three grams of my watermelon flavor oil. Mix everything together and let it cool to room temperature. And then I covered it with some saran wrap and let it sit overnight to let it reach its final viscosity. So now the next day, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous yogurty texture. Absolutely love it. And we can fill our jars. I use two four ounce jars and a 300 gram batch filled up both of them perfectly. And actually my camera wasn't in focus when I was filming me filling up these jars. But luckily I was actually filming on my phone at the same time. So I took that footage from my phone. So sorry if it's not the best quality. But yeah, just look at these gorgeous, gorgeous girls. I am so obsessed with body yogurts. They are perfect for the summertime because they're so lightweight and they literally have no rub in time at all. Like put that on your skin, wipe and bam, it's absorbed. I absolutely love it. Also, when it comes to pH adjusting, you don't need to adjust the pH. It will have a pretty high pH. This one has a pH of 6.84, but you don't wanna lower the pH because if you start lowering it, in my experience, it starts to thin out. Supposedly, sodium carbomer is active down to a pH of five and up to a pH of 10, but I always just keep it at its natural pH, which is around like six something, which is a little high, but you know what? I'm willing to do it for this body yogurt and it's not too high that's gonna add any irritation. Water has a pH of seven, so we'll be fine. But yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Let me know if you wanna see my other formula on how to make a body yogurt. It includes different ingredients. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later, guys. I'm a song with music and find someone to